As the federal government remains shut down while President Trump and congressional Democrats battle over funding for a southern border wall, the president of the state Senate, Scott Sayles, says he'd like Montana to give the president and the border wall some support in the form of $8 million of state money. Sales plans to ask the legislature to approve a resolution that will, a, a resolution that will express solution, uh, support for the building that border wall, but he also wants to put some of Montana's taxpayer money where its mouth is. The Republican from Bozeman says he'll also sponsor a bill to spend the money as Montana's share of building the $5 billion wall. Sales says the $8 million figure is a fraction of the $5 billion equal to Montana's percentage of the national economy. He says border security is of vital importance to the nation and that his bills are one way to press the issue. I've been in the legislature a long time. I haven't typically supported a lot of additional government spending, but I think this is a, such a critical issue at a critical time. Um, I think it, it behooves us to take a look at maybe prompting Congress to do what they should do. I've supported this concept. Uh, I think a lot of Americans voted for President Trump and Montanans on this one concept alone. But Democratic House Leader Casey Schreiner of Great Falls told MTN News Wednesday the bills are just political grandstanding and the Democrats in Helena are working on problems that are actually facing the state. I would love to send a message to the people of Montana as they see their property taxes increase and taxes along the way that we are going to focus on finding ways to reduce those costs than burdens on them than sending money out of state to, to corporations to build a wall that again is not a Montana solution. Republicans control majorities in the Montana House and Senate, but any spending bill on border wall funding must also get the signature of Democratic Governor Steve Bullock.